house today look a lot easier. Yeah. Breathe hey. a sigh of relief. It's not going to be as vibrant of a start, but we do have a chance for some more scattered showers and thunderstorms, but they'll be very isolated. Here's a live look sky five live out there this morning, taking a look at all the schools headed back and I realize some people are going to hate is 615. We still have some time. Well, some schools don't start at 8 o'clock anymore. Sometimes the bus is picking up children as early as 6 a.m. And of course, times fluctuating pending your area and grade. Beautiful skies, though. Lovely sunrise. Current temperature 71 degrees on this Monday morning. Not a cloud in the sky over in Murfreesboro. So of course, sun glare will be something to monitor today. Isolated showers and storms. They're not going to be widespread. But those of us that do encounter it will have heavy downpours. We're also looking to have some gusty winds involved. But as far as a widespread severe event, that's not the case. Tuesday and Wednesday, these are going to be our better rain chance days. More scattered and more widespread in nature as we head throughout the afternoons. This is going to be thanks to a cold front Wednesday. Cold front textbook wise as far as colder well we'll be cooler and of course that's going to help lower our humidity value so we'll be more comfortable as we make our way throughout the end of the week right now winds are light coming in out of our south and we've got some warm conditions widespread 60s and 70s our dew points are in the 60s and 70s as well so you better believe once the sun continues to warm the atmosphere it's not going to be face value we're going to feel like we're closer to the triple digit mark areas off to our far west areas up along i-65 and to the east you're still going to feel like you're in the low to mid 90s up along i-65 upper 90s it's not going to rain all day but you've got to kind of think about what happened yesterday. We had some outflow boundaries in place, and those outflow boundaries are where I do anticipate showers and thunderstorms to develop this evening, particularly to our north and just off to the west. As we head into tomorrow, more scattered showers and thunderstorms becoming more widespread. Still same setup when it comes to those gusty winds and of course localized heavy downpours. We are so saturated in the column of air. We just need a little lift and then you're going to get those big old raindrops. The prime time for tomorrow will be around lunch, continuing to around six, seven o'clock in the afternoon. Your super seven day forecast exclusive to News Channel 5. Highs today, 92 degrees. We'll feel a little more vibrant with that. Scattered showers and storms. Tomorrow we will get up to 90, still feeling muggy. As far as our showers and storms are concerned, my main issue, gusty winds, and I cannot roll out some localized heavy downpours. So if you know of an area that's already had way too much rain, that flood threat will be something I'll be watching for you over the next bit. Very similar situation Wednesday, more clouds, then that moves out. We'll see more sunshine moving in by Thursday, and it's gonna feel decent. Get this, even so much so, upper 50s, low 60s, both Saturday and Sunday mornings in the outlying areas with highs in the upper 80s. Here's today's weather art, and this is a portrait that my friend Lily drew, and what a lovely job, Amy and Ben. She did the entire United States and then did different icons per the location. And, and notice she's got sunshine today, and we're looking for a bright forecast <laughs> for sure.